Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. That's Babyface P. We're doing What's Hot for Shot 2020. 2020. It's been a year already. Couldn't board away by fast. What the hell? What's going on, it's, man? It's, are those squirrels? No, those are birds back here. They're doing, they're crazy right now. Feeding day for the birds, I guess. Really? That's what that is? Yeah. That sounds a little like uh, they're doing the head yeah, Maybe business. that's what they're doing. Who knows? Some business going January, on. January, who knows? Yeah. So we're outside. Hopefully the audio is not too bad. Forgive us if it is. You yeah, know. The, the birds are going nuts. Yeah. Buckshot should be over there chasing them off. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're back. We're doing, we're going to do our little talk show shot show excuse me shot show conversation mm -hmm. um it's been a year already you didn't go to the last shot show you're not going to this one next year i know i said that last year next year i'm going. sure absolutely well, i'm gonna make sure the plans before okay. ahead and yeah get my hotel get my flight yeah. like way before right. i think you have plans yeah so i have um, a business trip so i couldn't yeah so um you know usually with my shot show thing everyone does it in a different way i don't have any prepared plans to talk about here but i think yeah you know we can have that i kind of look some stuff up to remind myself what i want to see but right. there's not I, i'm almost not excited for shot this year there's not, not? that much that i'm like okay. gotta see right i think well first of all i think if we're talking about shot show the first thing on the top of my mind is you know it is like the big high school dance or what is it you know um how do people look at it is it it is the big ball yeah every year for the gun world but i think it's it's easy to forget about all the politics involved in what's going on we've got stuff going on in virginia right now there's stuff happening in florida stuff happening in people are, all the gun states are under attack right now mm -hmm. um by the anti-gun anti-constitution anti-freedom anti -freedom. folks so I think it would be difficult to have this conversation without talking about that. And um, it's also going to be difficult to shot show for me because I know when I try to have those conversations with companies, they don't show. want to get involved. Or, oh, yeah. we'll talk, the, you talk to our PR person. Yeah. They'll give you a, a canned response about what we yeah. think about the Constitution. Right. And I think that's too bad, right? They want to talk about their new guns and stuff they came out with. Yeah, but what about in two years when I can't own that new gun? Absolutely. What about the Californians yeah. that can't own it? Virginians yeah. that are yeah. soon not to be able to own it? Yeah. And I think in the past, a lot of companies had cover because they could just say, look, we support the NRA, we support guns, and, and those guys are fighting that battle not and kind of brush it off to them. Yeah, now it's on us. We can't really depend on the NRA yeah. and, we, and and technology and everything going on. These guys are more aggressive, more informed, more targeted for, for what they're doing. We had two years ago gun control here in Florida. Republicans promised. I, I, I mean, they passed it. Yeah, they passed it. They put it into effect. And then some of them moved up the, the ladder in terms of politics. And they said, oh, we're not going to do this again. And if you don't vote for us and you get Democrats, you're going to get worse stuff. And here we are two years later, those same Republicans are giving us more gun control. So It's everywhere yeah. right now. Yeah. So that's definitely a part of the conversation. I don't want folks to think that we have forgotten about that. No. Um, and that'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Yeah. I, I got a lot of like... Uh, Positive yeah. response from that? No. Well, from the, from the folks out there, I got good response because I asked people about that but from the companies not uh, they, they weren't uh, too happy really about, tell you about it i don't uh, i'm not a spokesperson yeah there were certain companies that just didn't want to have conversations uh, i'm with just me, here so. showing you a gun i can't really talk on behalf of the company yeah yeah exactly so we'll see how that all plays itself out of course that's a thing when it comes to the guns um also this year uh, well we've been noticing that more and more in uh, the last few years, companies are rolling their stuff out before we hit SHOT Show. Yeah, it's kind of like CES. CES does the yeah, same thing where people right. roll their tech out two weeks, three weeks before to try to grab attention. Yeah, um, what do you think about it that, you know, do you think that's a good idea? So, for example, we had the 5.7 or 57 pistol, whatever you want to call it, from Ruger. I think SHOT Show in the old days was kind of a, a boys club mm -hmm. where gun riders, um, maybe gun video producers things like that got together to discuss what was out mm -hmm. in today's day and age i don't know that uh, shots really cool for everybody to get together but mm -hmm. i don't know that it's completely necessary anymore okay to do the, the to show do itself one show where right. everything is displayed um because there are so many 
it's so easy to find the content that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. If you put out, if a company puts out a product and it's a good product, it will find its way around the internet and the people looking for that product will find it. Mm -hmm. YouTubers will pick it up. Yeah, okay. So you, in you terms know what I'm of, saying? Yeah, in terms of the, um, so alt before it used to be about getting the gun store owners into SHOT Show, yes. they bought stuff or they yeah. knew what would be the cool things going back. I don't know how necessary that is now. I think... I don't think it's very necessary. You know what I do think is, is necessary? The world building part of it or the community part of it. I think that's it. a big part too, yeah. yeah. Getting to know other people that are in the community, uh, mm -hmm. getting to see fans of the show mm -hmm. or... Mm -hmm. um, you know, organizing some some anti uh, some gunfight stuff. Yeah, yeah. Organizing political stuff. Yeah. Like I think that's a good thing. Yeah. And a lot of that um, doesn't happen yet. I mean, but they, I think we're kind of like on an island. We're kind of specific with the gun world because it's taboo to some people, or just downright evil, or whatever it is people want to think. And so we're kind of set out on this island, and we're being cut off by social media and other places. So it would be good if they took advantage of having all these people in the same place to have some conferences and sit downs and organization to figure out like how do we build out our own platforms and yeah, things like that. I, I don't know so, how much of that happens. Yeah, but, that's not happening yet, and um, that's and and you know what? That's why some people just skip out the show now because you don't have to do it. And, and there's plenty of like, like I don't think uh, companies need to wait until January of every year to start releasing mm -hmm. their products. If you have something ready and it's uh, you know going to change the way the AK game works or mm -hmm. whatever, just mm -hmm. stick it out there, put it out there. People will find it, yeah, and enjoy it. And that sounds horribly dirty as I say it, but <laughs> <laughs> put it out there. So at here's the thing, there um, we're ultimately we're going there. If folks out there do want to know things, like so for me, I don't have any things, sit down things that I could say to you guys. Here's my list mm -hmm. of what I'm looking for. I think you probably feel the same way, but reach out to us while we're there yeah. at, or reach out to me. Yep. I have a couple um, things that I want him to see and sadly most of it is going to be one day because I mm -hmm. want I want you to get your opinion on shooting it. Mm -hmm. So media day is going to be like the prime thing for me where So that's how what you're the most feel? excited about the, yeah. the actual hands on. See, so well that is a good part of shot show mm -hmm. because you know so for example companies don't send us everything we're not in that uh yeah, you're, we're not in the squad or elite group of yeah, people who get, to get those everything things. for free yeah so we have to figure out we do some people do send us stuff we borrow things we buy it we do all that stuff so that is a good point of it for me why i spend my money and go out there so what are you excited to see getting shot at the show the sky dvg those, okay. That's the new one that they just brought out with the Striker Fire. Okay. I want to see how what you think about that because okay. you and I shot the original recently. Right. So, so budget, affordable Striker Fire, yeah. uh, basically with a red dot. better better triggers. That's why. Yeah. Okay. Um, interested so. in that uh, one. Th this is probably, you know what? I think in the last year, maybe two years, uh, handguns have been floating up in mm -hmm. terms of interest over mm -hmm. rifles and ARs. I'd say and within the like last that. 10 years it's gone from rifles, ARs, AKs now to more, I'd say more handguns yeah. than ever before. Glock 42 single stack changed a lot of things. I know when we did a when we did the best of the decade people got mad because Smith and Wesson had single stack. They already had yeah, they already had Taurus had stuff and you know, yeah. But we already said our opinion. If you want to go see yeah. that, Hank can put a link <laughs> up here. Yeah. But there are more and more uh, single stack or concealed carry guns that are mm -hmm. being built that people are out there offering. Um, I know that uh, Walther has a 380 version of their 9mm. That's coming out. That was another gun. one I was going to mention. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. The Ruger 57. I want to see what your yeah. opinion is of shooting it. Shooting it. Because I'm actually really considering buying one. Like, right. I'm not just one of... It's not one of those guns where I'm like, oh, that's really cool. I like it. Like, I'm actually to the point of... I might go get one of those. Like I might order one. Right. I like so the five much. seven. So the five seven round, five seven by twenty eight, is actually a, pr a pretty cool little round, it being is. Uh, it center is. fire, you know, and then being very fast that could punch through things. Mm -hmm. The FN you either had before you had the uh, PS ninety from FN or Which the like five seven. Yeah. And the the pistol was like twelve hundred. It was it's twelve. It's really like around thirteen, but yeah, it you was could probably out get of my, it for twelve. It was out of my price range. Yeah, I just could never. You. I, I, they're fun to shoot. I've shot a couple of them, and I, yeah. I like it. I like yeah. the round. It's lightweight, yeah, lot, it's loud cool. round capacity, a, very powerful and within, like let's say, like 100 yards. It's got a lot of cool factor, even beyond like all mm -hmm. the stats that go along with it. Mm -hmm. It just has this really mystique cool factor, mm -hmm. but I just can't bring myself to spend $1,200 on a plastic right. pistol. Yeah. It's and really hard. The Ruger 57 is what, like half the price, $800? I've, I've seen them right now. Mm -hmm. 
already for sale for like five eighty. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, and I'm like, that's why I'm like, man, I will yeah. totally pick one of those. Yeah, up. I've only seen reviews of that. Like I was looking, Nothing Fancy has a pretty good video out there for mm -hmm. anyone who's a Nothing Fancy fan. I definitely am, because um, you know he's and he liked it. He says that it's lightweight. I think it's a twenty round capacity. Yeah. Um, so it's, that's and cool. it's got the look of like a big because it's a mm. five inch uh, Your barrel, bar, five mm. inch barrel, a, an eight inch Full overall size. Yeah. slide. Like it's a big gun. It looks yeah. awesome. Yeah, they got the cuts right on it. Everything about it just looks really cool. Yeah, I think a lot of good things I'm hearing from people. So I would like to see myself. How light does it feel fully loaded? Yep. How does it shoot? I think it has a little bit of a different, it's an internal hammer or something like it that. It is internal hammer, not yeah. striker. And mm -hmm. one of the cool things, um, and one thing that I've always thought was weird about the FN pistol is mm -hmm. the top slide on the FNs are plastic. Mm -hmm. And it feels like a, a Tonka truck. It feels like yeah. a toy. <laughs> Because plastic's e not easy to do, and the FN doesn't really seem to want to put a lot of development into that. The Ruger's slide is metal, mm -hmm. so I'm I'm hoping it will it's feel. It's aluminum. It's yeah. aluminum. Yeah. I'm hoping it'll feel better. So, yeah. There you go. And five seven. This is something else we were talking about. Calibers are coming up, so five seven is getting cheaper, more affordable. Other people have made uh, guns in the past, but CMMG also for Shot Show announced an AR-15 platform in five seven. Yes, that uses the AR magazine and. The only way for 5.7 to get cheaper mm -hmm. is for more people to get on board. Yeah. That's the reason 9mm is, is as cheap as it is, or 5.56 five, is as cheap as it is, yeah. is because it's ubiquitous. Yeah. Um, more manufacturers will see that people are buying the guns and the ammo. They will create more ammo, which will bring down the prices. It's all good if we can get that happening. Yeah. That's always been the problem with 5.7. Absolutely. So for anyone who's interested, if you think you're going to wind up in a scenario where you're dealing with people that have uh, body armor, etc. Yeah, yeah. So you can get combo guns. You can have your pistol and P90 your carbine. Your carbine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think that is something that's exciting. Oh. And maybe we'll see some other people announcing stuff at the show. There could the, be that, more yeah. that we haven't seen yet. So. Yeah. Okay. So that now. What else? Uh, Another Ruger, the LCP twenty two. Their little the carry gun. Yeah. I think this will be the year of the twenty twos as well. You think so? Yeah, because Ruger has a twenty two. The other one is the Chris uh, Glock Vector. has a twenty two. Those are the, in the Chris yeah. Vector. Chris rifle. Vector has a twenty two. Uh, someone else has a twenty two. It's not the. Um, there is someone else, I'm sure, out there that's coming out with a with a, a, a pistol version of the twenty two. So yeah. all the twenty twos, I want to see how they are. I want to yeah. see how the Chris Vector shoots. Hi. <laughs> I want to see how the Chris yeah. Vector shoots. Yeah, he gets very jealous of not being spoken to. I want to see how yeah. the uh, LCP twenty two shoots because that mm -hmm. might be a good training aid for somebody with carrying a three eighty LCP. I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then the Glock forty four. I want to see yeah. how the Glock forty four shoots. Yes. I think that, you know, I mean, I, at the risk of sounding like a Glock fanboy, which well, I am, we are. I'm, I'm pretty much getting one, I so I just want to confirm too. that, hey, this is good, when, because it is rimfire. When the price drops a little bit, mm -hmm. I'll pick one up. Uh, yeah, I'm not okay. going to buy into the hype quite yet. Yeah. When the price comes to a, a reasonable street price, I'll yeah. pick one up. Yeah, and I think that's a big world gun it, it needs for a, Glock. It needs a suppressor, too. It needs a threaded barrel. Absolutely. They'll pro I think there are already threaded barrels that are going to be available with it from what we were talking about. But the reason why I say it's a world gun, because lots of places around the world where they don't have freedom. Can have 22. Can have 22. Um, and then that's like a entry level. 22 is an entry level to freedom stuff for, for folks out there who are wondering about it. Um, if you're already in the gun world, you're probably not that worried. But these are the kind of things when people are getting into it, you can ease their way in uh, by doing it. And then they can step up from there to other calibers. The next really cool one, um, not pistol, moving on to mm -hmm. rifle. Mm -hmm. Kalashnikov USA is coming out with the KR-103, which is a fully Russian, fully American. Yeah, I saw that in uh, Firearm Blog. I am <laughs> I want to see how it is. Uh, right, right. First, the price is a big big thing. I think it's $1,000. I want to see what their $1,000. What the fully Russian, fully American. And, and what uh, it shoots like. Because okay. for me, if I were to build a 7.62 gun, I could build a really nice one for a grand. Yeah. But of so course, that's for the AK building. lover in you. Not everyone's like a super AK. Yeah, that's for me fan. building <laughs> on my. Yeah. The I already I have 100% have. American AK. You do. I do. You do. Yeah. I have. It, but but it's. I guess. I don't have any. I guess where American it's not AKs. fully Russian is that it's heavier because it's all milled out and. Is it a milled? Yours. Well, is no. Milled. I'm saying yeah. The one I have is all milled out. I'm assuming that's going to be stamped. stamped. I yeah. like stamped guns. I, I don't think milled is necessary anymore, but yeah. 
there's, you I know, think a lot of people are going to balk in America at spending a thousand dollars on an AK. AK. Yeah, I think so. Now, okay, it's going to have Kalashnikov on it and all that. You're cool, going to be sexy paying for stuff. a name. You're going to be yeah. paying some premium for the name for sure. Yeah. Hopefully, the competition of American-made AKs brings the price down. Goes again. back to and brings up the quality the AR-15 again. dive to the bottom. Let's get that back with yeah. AKs where yeah. quality goes up, prices go down. Yeah. Really awesome. Absolutely. And some God's sake, somebody please make some five four five guns. I can't find a five four five kit anywhere. Yeah. I want to build a seventy four like and I can't that. find a damn kit anywhere. That's what I would like to see maybe PSA come out with because I was just gonna say yes. to you, PSA is making affordable AKs in America. They had hinted I'm just saying. they had hinted about uh Making some 74 stuff yeah. to us. Palmetto State Armory has not released anything yet, to my knowledge. Do you oh, know so you anything? have to. You No, they haven't. You have to go by their booth. Yeah. We need yes. to get facts on the MP5. <laughs> we got to keep bothering uh, about that. Yeah, MP5 uh, for, or, or their AK, version of it. AK-74. You know, the interesting thing mm -hmm. is um, PSA. And, and maybe there's a 5.7 coming out from them. Could be. Yeah, they on the show. They so we do that? a podcast. They've been on the podcast. They say that 5.7 is in the works. Um, I don't know when that's going to be announced. So, though. one interesting thing that I mm -hmm. was thinking about last night with this Kalashnikov USA all American mm -hmm. rifle coming out, PSA is into uh, forging because they're making their own forgings. I wonder yeah. where Kalashnikov USA is getting their forging. From. Oh, I don't know, but I don't think anyone's going to tell us. <laughs> no, nobody will ever tell <laughs> us. But I don't think anyone's going to admit to forging, that. Forging so for anybody that. out there who's not aware, forging is a very uh, rare thing these days when it comes to AKs. It's very specialized. Yeah, so. yeah. That's you never know who's doing back alley deals, selling off products to who, but... Yeah, the bones of a lot of what you're getting out there are all from the much. same place, and people yes. don't realize that. Yeah, especially when it comes to rifles. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Next up, mm -hmm. um, the SCAR 20S. I see the FN, yes. Six in 6.5 Creed. Creed. Right. The one complaint, and it wasn't even complaint when we shot the SCAR 20S, mm -hmm. because that gun is incredible. It's a four thousand yeah. dollar DMR. It's an expensive gun. He I know. has this video. It's on my channel. It um, yeah. It's it is an expensive four thousand dollar DMR. It was nice, very nice yeah. gun. Uh, three hundred eight. No, it's was in 308. 308. My only thing yeah. was if I were to buy one of those, I wanted in six five. I really really like six six five Creed more is the round right now. Oh, um, it, it's I mean hot. 308 has a you know a three hundred eight is kind of like the forty five of the. It's you know, ubiquitous. It's yeah. always going to be there, and it, mm -hmm. it works great for its purpose. It has that knockdown power. But six five is awesome. Yeah. It's a little softer shooting. It goes a little it's bit flat. flatter yeah. and further. Yeah, you have to really figure out where you're fighting at and what you need. Um, yeah. Well, so I, I have a 308. I probably will always have no, there's some no, kind don't, of 308. Don't in my get rid arsenal. of your 308. I'm just saying, 6.5 is a really good upgrade yeah. for the FN. If I'm gonna, if I'm, especially if you're spending that kind of money. Get what you uh, what, want. Yeah. What is the six five? Is the six five Creed more going to be a premium on price or in that same? Uh, Pro I mean, you're. Already I mean, it's already an premium. expensive gun. You're yeah. probably not anymore. It's probably okay. just going to be the same. Yeah. We we seem to have a theme going on here, Patrick. What's uh, the theme? Calibers. You know, for all these years, people couldn't get the calibers they wanted. Finally, companies are listening. Yeah. Now it seems like companies are going in the caliber direction. Um, one thing you can avoid this mm -hmm. year is, mm -hmm. uh, um, what's the one? Mm -hmm. oh, don't even waste your time going by HK's booth for their twenty eight hundred dollar <laughs> MP five. Throw that shit in the garbage. Oh. HK. I know there's people out there that would love to get an HK. Oh, I would I love to own one, but I am yeah. not paying the the <laughs> HK premium twenty eight hundred for a pistol a, uh, MP five. That's crazy. Uh, I'm just gonna wait until PSA puts. I'm out gonna get this PSA when it comes out. out. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Um, there are guns I would spend a lot of money on. To be honest with you, uh, most of them falling in the bullpup category. So I'm hoping that there'll be some bullpups out there and like i said already i'll say it again if you all are looking if there's certain things you're interested in at shot show the thing to do is hit me up on social media yes. if you don't know go to my to hankstrange.com we've been working on it you put your phone number in the description um uh, okay yeah i guess i'll throw my phone because you have number that there. the phone number yes people can text me directly i'll put the number in the description or something here and you can hit me up it's uh you text me please yeah don't call because he's going to be busy yeah it's send him a crazy. text he can he can get back to that and yeah i'll he, put it in there he may not answer but it'll force him to go i'll to know the booth. if yeah. i see a bunch of people saying to me oh you got to go check this out that's, yeah go that's go a good thing if yeah. a bunch of people are saying the same thing yeah that'll send yeah. him in a direction so the way that text works you text me and then i'll send back something that you can fill out a form i like to know who i'm talking yeah. to yeah so fill it out if you're noticing i'm not responding it's because you have not filled it out and i don't know who is the person funny that i'm talking to funny so. shout out here uh mm -hmm. to 22 plankster for getting his own 
What? CCI Quake ammo. Quake has his own ammo. Stangers. Is it, uh, it's so 22. is it 22 and 22 WMR? Or uh, just, just 22 Stingers. They're oh, renaming the Stinger. on there? Yeah. They're renaming oh, the boy. Stinger to a special edition Stanger, S-T-A-N-G-E-R. Yeah. Man, that's like a whole ne next level. Can you imagine? It's one thing to have your own gun. You, when you go in three, the store. What was it, three years ago? He was working a regular desk job? or I, I No, think he, was, he was installing a a cable or, or a cable. security. He, but or he was working like a regular that, job. Yeah. Like ADT or something. Now he's got his own. Like It's pretty cool. He's Good for him. Yeah, He's been the man for a minute. He's yeah, been the man yeah. for a while. You know. Trying to see if there's um, anything else. And he else. has a lot of ammo, so now he has his face on ammo. That's cool. Uh, nice. Yeah, see, uh, how come I can't get my face on some ammo, uh, Fort Scott Munitions? Fort Scott, they oh, are making that black round. Yeah. It could be the Hank Strange Make edition. Some Hank Strange. The Put strange, little Mohawks on the, the ammo. The Strange edition of ammo. It's all yeah. blacked out. <laughs> um, so is that it for your for your thing? That was all I saw on the list. Yeah. I think a more will. I'll bother Hank to go look at yeah. it. I would love for you to see one of the Colts, but I'm just yes. Oh yes, that's why I was like, yeah. When is he gonna tell me he wants to see the Colt Python? I want somebody to go to their booth and say, how are you gonna yeah. fix these I problems you're having? I don't look at a lot of wheel guns. I don't look at a lot of revolvers at the show. Um, Kimber, a few years ago, made a really nice revolver that yeah. I actually shot. Yep. But I have not seen one out in the wild that's actually affordable to me. But th those, when I, that gun seemed to me like a Rolls Royce of revolvers. I really like that Kimber you revolver. Know what I if would anyone love has to one, let me know. And I'll throw this out there. Mm -hmm. I'll say directly: mm -hmm. if Cabot got into revolvers, oh geez, how dope would that be? That'd be interesting, actually. If yeah. Cabot got into making yeah. a 357 mag or 44 yeah. mag, because you know that trigger would be just. Yeah, Cabot guns, which we have a video we did. We actually got to shoot a Cabot gun. These are really, uh, I, I think they're, I don't think they're super expensive 1911s because I see people selling 1911s for 20 grand. And I see people selling 1911s for five, 600 bucks. But uh, a, these are three to $5,000 entry level. A $400 Filipino 1911 will mm -hmm. get the job done all day long. It's right. gonna shoot just fine. It's yeah. not gonna be the nicest fitting gun. It'll be like my Colt in that video. Mm -hmm. Remember, it was like click, 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 mm -hmm. click, shaky. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a $600 Colt. Mm -hmm. But when you're talking craftsmanship, if you're a 1911 guy, mm -hmm. that Cabot, mm -hmm. you just got to go see what Cabot's, if they yeah, have any. Cabot different. always has some kind of crazy 1911 yeah, go there. Go take a picture of something Made of meteorites crazy. or... Trump's you know, hair. Yeah, or the, the tears of liberals yeah, or something like together that. Into frozen or something. But Cabot... Yeah. Maybe with Colt failing at the new Python, might be time to uh, jump into the revolver I don't know. game. We'll have to see. We'll Just go. Say it. Yeah, there's certain booths that I do go by, even though I really at this point uh, can't afford anything. Yeah, I always go over yeah. to Kevin. <laughs> there's other, other places. I check out the Chris booth, uh, especially at Media Day, mm -hmm. because uh, those vectors are awesome. They actually give you full auto when they're full auto suppressed. The way it should be. Yeah. Oh my God! And there's a have, 22 version of that. If the Vector 22 is full auto. Yeah, but you don't need a vector. You don't need vector for 22. You no, don't need but if they vector. have it in full auto, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Um, but, it, it, I mean, it's going to be a semi-auto. Yeah. Nobody's going to sell that to the police. No police wants a full auto vector. Right, right, In 22. Right. But if I was going to have one, a 22 full auto would be so nice. Yeah, you'd have to dual wield that. I don't know. You need to go buy the... Mm -hmm. i got to send you the link to that um, person, whoever it is that's making... The mag loader for the CP33. Oh, okay. If I don't they know if have they're a booth, be a show. I don't mm -hmm. know. We'll look them up. If they're going to be there, you need to go check them out and see about getting one of those those mag loaders, speed loaders. Okay. Because it was cool. Because um, we just put up a video. Both of us actually mm -hmm. recently just put up CP33. Videos. Oh yeah, another banned video. Trying to put yeah. the ammo in the magazine right. is a nightmare. Right. There's mm -hmm. this company out there, and I sorry I forget the name, but it's a little base that you. Click the magazine on, drop around and click, drop around and click, drop around. Yeah, it makes it easier. Click, 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 it stacks that, off. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah that would be interesting. That would be interesting to see to get a demo on how that works. Mm -hmm. So usually, what I do at Shot Show when I go out there, I go to Media Day and I just walk up and down and look at to look to see what do I really like here, mm -hmm. and and then I go in and I talk to the people and make a video um, at the show itself. Uh, I spend time visiting some of the companies that we that I work a lot with that support us, like Safety Harbor Firearms. It's, they have some. Oh, I didn't even talk them. about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Safety Harbor Firearms. Uh, Walter's a friend of ours, like an actual, like a good friend of ours. So right. it's it's hard to not be biased when you talk about his products, because mm -hmm. um, most of them I like. I don't think mm -hmm. Walter makes anything I don't like. 
No. But I am really excited. I actually told him I'm going to have to pick yeah. up a Strybog. Yeah, Strybog adapter he's to making, make it use. He's making a lower, an aluminum lower for the Strybog, Strybog, mm -hmm. Strybog, uh, for Glock magazines right yeah. now, mm -hmm. um, which I am a Glock fanboy. I My first pistol caliber carbine was a SBR yeah. using Glock mags. Um, so put it in a Strybog. Awesome. Yeah. Second version, they're mm -hmm. talking about down the way, is going to be... Um, for the B and T, or no, no, no. no. Uh, what's the uh, Scorpion? Scorpion, Scorpion mags. Yeah, Scorpion. Scorpion mags. Primarily the PSA Scorpion mags. Oh yeah, because those work great. They work great, and yeah. they're pretty cheap. Yeah. So Walter's and really they have that cool. So, yeah, I'm on board. I think that was a big one. Yeah, Walter. As a matter of fact, we may get a video up of that before we go off to Shot Show. If not, we we'll, we'll get something out there. But that is very interesting. Lots of people have interest in that. So yeah, I go see places like uh, Safety Harbor Firearms or. And that's gonna uh, fix a lot of well, fix a lot of issues because mm -hmm. people are having issues with the street bog maglips. I think or whatever breaking yeah, the, from some of the new ones. Just turn it yeah. into a Glock gun. Done. Yeah. Um, everyone wants everything to be a Glock. Does it upset? Ex yeah, except Glock magazines. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, yeah, you, so you have a cool. lot of time. You, yeah, I'll, I'll check. I'll definitely check that out, and I think that you're going to be able to put like AR pistol grips on there, and like and different things you can do with AR, AR triggers, etc. If yeah. you can do that, so that's going to be cool. I so here's what I do. I go see the guys that. Um, that we work with, that we do things with, because they help us, they support us. I go check out their stuff uh, for sure. Fort Scott Munitions does yep. that. Yep. Um, you know the uh, the guys from Franklin Armory, and I mean I could go on and on. Walther supports the uh, podcast, mm -hmm. so does Franklin Armory. So I go check all those guys out, and and I just walk around to see really what I'm interested in other than that. But I spend a lot of time down in the basement. So is the that way it's structured, companies are? yeah, it's really the first floor or ground floor, and 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 all the I, new guys are pretty much in the basement. I really is that was that where Walter is still, or is he? Uh, no, Walter, he's on the second floor. He's with the hoity toity. He's in the law enforcement. Oh, uh, area. I, he's not far from Daniel Defense. I think um, because didn't he share a booth with Daniel Defense back at uh, a long time ago? Long yeah. time. Yeah, ago. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think they, they even know talk him. to him. No, they don't, know. they don't know. No, they don't remember that. I think but. unfortunately this year I could, I'm not going to be going. Mm -hmm. But next year when I do go, I think I want to see some of the smaller mm -hmm. things that people know. Because everybody's that's the most interesting. Everybody's going to go to Ruger. Yeah. Everybody's going to go to Colt. Everybody's yeah. going to go to Chris Factor. Yes. I want to see like. Accessories, little. I want to see the companies belts. who are out there, like uh, just just getting in and yeah. thinking differently outside of the box. That and, company and last year, stuff. I wish I could have seen um, making the the quick clips for uh, patrol vests and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you can mm -hmm. just click and take your patrol vest mm -hmm. off. Weird things like that is what mm -hmm. I would like to see, but that's what we look God, for. So, so that, much of it. Most of those guys are in the basement. They've started doing these little kiosks that they rent to some people. And they have like one day, they, they did it last year, I'm not sure if they're going to do it this year. One day where they have um, on the second floor, there's like a little area and you can pay for like a one day spot to go in there and get your stuff that's, highlighted. That's so the way, that that's the things to go see. Because mm -hmm. those are the people you can make really good close connections with. They right. might send you a couple things to test. Yeah. And who knows, in five years they may blow up and become the next annual defense. Absolutely. You never yeah. know what's going to come to you. Yeah. So I, I might find some stuff, but you guys might see other people who have found something cool, and maybe you want another look. You can let us know. There's also people like walking around suitcase in it. Are there people that do that? Oh, for sure. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, yeah. where they're you just like, people, hey, would you like to check yeah. out my wares? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They can't get a booth or anything, but they walk. Or, the, the hotel security is always. Busted I got them. Folkleys and some uh, <laughs> knockoff Rolexes. That you yeah. want to open it? Yeah. <laughs> I always talk to those guys to see if they have a uh, thing. Listen, my mind is open Absolutely. to the things that are out there. I'm a, I'm a big nerd about it's, this stuff. I, I, I like discovery. It's really so. easy, and this happened last year with a big channel. It's mm -hmm. really easy to get really cynical about mm -hmm. things that are really different, mm -hmm. really out there, mm -hmm. and just to say, oh, that's stupid. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like, those are kind of the cool things that you're looking for, especially mm -hmm. for content creators. Those are the cool things that will, like, people want to see on the channel. Yeah. But you know, don't don't let people get cynical over what you might think is cool. Um, yeah. That they say is the dumbest thing ever made. Just if yeah. you like it, like it. Yeah. I try to have a more balanced view, man. Yeah. Like I started this video saying, I do, I very much care about the politics. 
I hope that's reflected to you guys that we all care about that. We're in Florida uh, specifically, but we, we pay attention to what's going on in Virginia and other places. Uh, but we're all upset with uh, politicians and all these folks that we support and we think, hey, they're going to support the Constitution. So I do all of that. I look at that. But at the same time, I'm a, I'm, I'm a dyed in the wool gun guy. I love these things for the mechanics. That's the yeah, cool factor of it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. You look at it for yeah. the, the coolness. The, the It's like owning watches or, yeah. or knives or any of that. It yeah. all kind of fits together. Absolutely. Um, and some of those, there's, there's watch guys, there's watch companies at the show, there's knife companies at the show, you can check out guys that make bags and things like that. There's cars out there at Media Day. Um, usually Ram let has some trucks out there, let you drive the trucks and cool. things like that. So all of that stuff, I think it's like a whole complete world and I try to stay in that. And by the way, man, I think I have one in, let me see if I have any in my pocket. Here, I'm gonna do this. Is not snacks, buckshot. He's, he's but, coming. So, if you run into me, and I know I'm gonna be doing Maj Ture has a um, oh, I don't have my patch hat. Yeah, Ma, Maj has a uh, like a conference that he's putting on, and I'm gonna be part of that, so I'll cool. be there. But we got the we got the uh, the Hank Strange, these are the new ones. Yeah, the new Hank Strange patches I'm are pretty sharp out. looking. I like that. it. Yeah, I'll share that with you guys. So, I'm gonna take a few of these to the show. You can, these are yours, two. Yeah, you sure about that? Yeah, yeah, I you know. I'm gonna go. I gotta go put on my patch hat. Oh, okay. I need sure. a patch wall. I need yeah, to you get do. Some... You should build a patch wall because I know you have patches that you're collecting. They just yeah, sit so in the drawer right now. Yeah, and put oh. those up. So if you if you see me, I'll I'll have one of these. Bring you're... back the random cool stuff. Yeah. Um. So real quick, I'm gonna make this mm -hmm. story real fast because it's really mm -hmm. off topic. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandfather, when I was a kid, and I'm gonna talk fast. My grandfather, mm -hmm. when I was a kid, worked for a travel agency on the side, mm -hmm. and as part of that travel agency, he would always go off. Uh, and bring back all of their loot, like mm -hmm. cups and keychains and stupid shit like <laughs> that. Swag, uh -huh. swag stuff. And I mm -hmm. always used to love going to my grandparents' house because I would go straight to the swag bag and see what he brought home that weekend mm -hmm. from the trip. You need to bring home a bunch of yeah, swag. I always for bring me. home. Bring swag. me some swag. Yeah, I don't you care. always get first. Oh, bibs I love the swag. swag. Yeah, Lola and I. Sometimes <laughs> we pay for a whole suitcase. Oh, just to bring swag back. Yeah, we pay for it to take it out there and then bring it back and throw swag in it and, and we give it out to people. There you is always go about, through there. Oh yeah. yeah my yeah, yeah, my yeah. key ring is Shot Show 2017. Yeah, I still use it. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll have that. If you run into me, so if you see me at that. Or any other places, I will have the patch. Um, probably Lola's going to throw something up on the dot com at some point about these, but we just got these done. So are these going to be for sale you, as well? To maybe help out with the I don't know. Right now, what we're going to do, like if I run, I'll take some out there, and if I run into folks I know that support us and stuff like that, we'll get them. Same thing with the people who support us on Patreon and the folks, um, you know. It really, what you need to do is go to HankStrange.com, get into our uh, email list. Yeah, there you so go. if we wind up giving out any of these, we'll do that. If we're selling it, whatever we're up to, you can find out on the .com. Cool. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm trying to think of, there's some other things that, um, that, uh, that I wanted to say about the show, but, you know, basically, look, I'm looking forward to the show. Mm -hmm. I think it's... I a, really wish I could Yeah, go. it's worth it if you can go out there. For, for us, I feel like we need to go walk around just to figure out all the things that we're getting into. Um, the biggest thing about it that I want to remind everyone, I feel like I'm, I'm definitely forgetting something. Here. Oh, you'll forget about yeah. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> but if you, want to know, if you want to know about something, the biggest thing, let us know because that's what guides me. Mm -hmm. I don't have super specific plans other than like... Um, if you see on, something that catches your yeah. eye... You just go for it. Yeah, let me know, and because uh, one, some of the times what happens is the, the the videos that get the most attention are things that everyone just keeps telling me, and even at the last minute, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm gonna drag myself over there and do a video, and then people appreciate it. Cry precision. Think about cry precision. The six twelve. It's still a know. huge video on your channel because it was it like is. random thing you went. And yeah, saw. and we still it's still not out. Never there. gonna be out. Yeah, <laughs> uh, maybe maybe we'll see at the show. So um, I think that's it. It's a long form. Sorry, guys. Yeah. We talk a lot. That's cool. That's what we do. The last one we did was like 28 minutes. Okay. I don't know about this one. Um, so here's the thing. Make sure you check out Babyface P on his channel. He has some cool videos that I think are different in the most part from what I'm... It basically, trying. it's him doing what he does. Trying to... Too. Yeah, trying to get up to think. I build, I break, and mm -hmm. rebuild. That's what we do. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, so check on my on my side, check out HankStrange.com. That's the big thing I could tell you. Get into the email list. We've moved it over there. That's how we'll keep you guys informed of everything going on. We are really getting shut down, I feel like, on social media. 
So this is the part that I, the HankStrange.com is something that I own, that I may, I'll be able to tell you if things are going on with Babyface or any of our other friends and, and, and myself. So I would say definitely utilize that um, if you want to know what's up with us if you care about what's going on or if you want to support us because it's getting tougher and tougher uh, there's a bunch of videos actually every video we make with a gun gets demonetized pretty much so yeah. if we shoot anything it gets smacked down there's nothing so, to about it. I'm very interested to see how that plays out at SHOT Show this year and if you look at our live stuff that we do on social media um, you might find I know YouTube has a policy about us holding guns when we're live so I'll probably do that stuff through Facebook I don't know if they're gonna. They might come out with some policy like that too. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. So. All right. All right. That's it. Thanks to everyone for tuning in. Make sure you you know like this video, comment on it. Make sure you ring the bell. Let us know in the description, in the chat, uh, yeah. in the comments. Tell tell Hank what you want to see. I'll read. We both read through the comments and mm -hmm. I comment too, and it'll help yeah. direct him where to go. Yeah. And I'll, I'll I'll throw that number in there, or you guys can find it on social media yeah. too. Or like I said, get on the website. Um, I'll probably bury that somewhere on the website at some point for people to find. I don't want those Nigerian, they those like Nigerian you. scammers calling me. You That's don't want to, your, your great cousin was a prince and you got a bunch of money? No, no, I don't believe it. All right, we're out. <laughs> Peace, see ya.